Making offsite backups to a cloud storage is risky. The cloud storage is located in the Internet and the transfer and authentication process is a target for attackers, villains like intelligence services. So how can we make file backups to a public cloud secure? In this video, we use the free software Duplicacy, which can encrypt the files before uploading them and also use SFTP for a secure lock-on procedure to the remote system. Duplicacy have the advantage of supporting a lot of cloud storage backends. One of it is SFTP. In this scenario, we use a cheap storage VPS and configure it as target system. You can find a comparison list in the video description. Most virtual private servers run on Ubuntu server or on other Debian-like systems. My target host is Raspberry Pi, which also runs on a Debian adoption. The first step is to create a separate user called Data Backup, which has no super user privilege and only can store files on a specific path. This reduces the damage if the user gets hijacked. Please use generated randomized passwords from your password manager. I create the folder Duplicacy Backup as target folder for my backups. Let's now switch to the source system on which the important files for the backup are located. I prepare the important commands, which you can also find in the video description. The SSH key generator generates a private and a public key, which we will use for the lock-on procedure. I change the path of the generated files to my downloads folder. This is an optional step. It is important to secure your private key with a secure press phrase in case the private key gets stolen or lost. We can now see the private and the public key in the downloads folder. The next step is to transfer the public key to my target host. We use the command ssh copy id for this purpose. The command includes the path to the public key file, the user of the target system and the target host IP address. We can now test the SSH logon without using a password. The I option specifies the private key which should be used. Before the login procedure starts, you must decrypt the private key file with your password. I am now logged on to my target system. Finally, we can start with our backup preparations. We use the duplicacy in it command to prepare the files folder for the first backup. The E option activates the encryption. The term useful with is the snapshot ID and is a free text field. After the snapshot ID, the path to the target system must be specified. It consists of the target system user, the IP address or host name and the path for the backup. By pressing enter, the system returns command not found. Unfortunately, Duplicacy is not part of the Debian package manager and must be downloaded manually from the Duplicacy GitHub page. In my case, I have to download the Linux 64-bit edition. After downloading it, I can move it to a directory which is part of the path variable. With change mode plus X, I allow the file to be executed. The command duplicacy backup triggers the first backup. The problem is that it now asks me again for two passwords. As I want to do backups on a regular basis, I need a non-interactive approach, which would make it possible to schedule backups in the Crunchup. Therefore, we use the duplicacy set command to store the storage encryption password and the SSH key file password permanently. The command consists of a key and a value option. 
Have a look at the duplicacy wiki to find out about the available keys and values. By using the value SSH key file, the authentication process will take place by certificates and not by passwords. All in all, we need three keys to be added to the preferences file. The SSH private key password, the pass to the private key and the encryption password. After writing these values, we can now run the command duplicacy backup without further interaction. A quick summary. We secured the SSH logon with certificates and we used encryption to make the backup unreadable for an attacker. You will find some links and instructions on some other interesting topics like using an RSA key pair to encrypt your duplicacy backup or a tutorial on how to deactivate password logon entirely on your VPS. If you like this video, please don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe my channel.